All right, another Geek Week video on using LaTeX in R. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about using a makefile and what, what makefiles look like, how to run them. So this is a uh, folder. It happens to be within an R package. And I've got this folder called Derivations. And in this, I, I have some um, tech files. I, have these as R as sweep, but there's actually no R code in them. It's just plain tech. But you know, no matter, I need to run these and create the PDFs. And I'm going to run these with this make file. So here's the what the make file looks like. Um, the first line is I am defining the uh, function rm. And then all I am saying what is going to happen when I type make, as you'll see at the command here. So it's just for your convenience to organize things like this. Um, that way, if you just need to one, run one part of this, you can. Um, in this case, I'm going to be running all of them, but I could run just one, one part of it. So um, here's the, this command, called these commands called sweeve. And here shows you how um, how you're going to run a R command within the make file. So this is um, getting going to my whatever R I have installed, and then saying command, and then it's sweeping that. Uh, then in this section, I'm running PDF LaTeX on my tech files that were generated here. So do, 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 I run those, and then I run bibtech. Then I got to run uh, PDF LaTeX uh, a bunch of times to get all the um, references updated. If you run LaTeX enough, you're used to having to rerun um, the PDF builder on the files. If you're using um, LaTeX within, say, R Markdown or Quarto, it's doing that in the background for you. If you're doing it yourself, you need to keep running it. Then the next one, uh, I have a co compress step because PDF LaTeX files are notoriously huge. And this shows you an example of how you can run R scripts um, just within your make file. So you put this bit right there. And then here I'm running this tools thing to compress my uh, PDF. And then lastly, I want to get rid of all those things that were created by PDF LaTeX. So let's see this in action. So I just make. So that's how I run it. If I say make by default, it's just going to run make file. I could give the make file a different name and you know um, type the name of it here, but I called it make file, so I can just do that. So it's looking within the folder that I'm in. So it's important that I make sure I'm within this folder when I'm doing this. And you can see just ran everything. There you go. So one thing that I want to um, just kind of warn you about is that make files are really picky about um, the the kind of indentation. And if you're working in our studio, that's what I'm working in here. It won't be obvious that this is right here is a tab and it's not two spaces. So I found and, and there won't be any warning like if you put two spaces, it just like will never go to compress and you can spend a, a lot of time being very unhappy trying to figure out the problem. And so hopefully by me saying this, you'll maybe remember, ah, make files are picky. So if I open up in text edit, you can it's easier to see the spacing. There's probably some way to tell our studio to show the actual um, uh, white space, but um, I just thought it was easier just to, you know, open it up in, in tech. I'm in uh, text edit. Okay, hope that's useful.